I'm Sarah Topham, and I'm playing Cecily. Cecily is the librarian at the library in Zurich, and she's very, very proud of this. She enjoys being a librarian. She loves the books, and she loves people who love books. So when Lennon comes to hang out at the library because he loves books and being around books and using books to do his work, she's very enamored of him, I think initially because of the books, and she kind of gets drawn in his, into his political world and completely takes that on. She's somebody who throws herself entirely into the thing that she's decided to espouse, um, which is great. It's really fun. It means she's quite extreme, and that's a really fun thing to play. I guess the thing that drew me to the play is A, Tom Stoppard, who I love, and I've never been in a play of his, so it's quite exciting to get to do that. Um, and also, I love the importance of being earnest. Um, I have played Gwendolyn twice in similar productions in two different places. And uh, so I spent kind of two years of my life living in the importance of being earnest. So to get to do this play, which is such a kind of, it's sort of a love letter and a, a decapitation of the importance of being earnest, and that's really fun. And also to be playing Cecily, who has the other, she has this sort of different plot line in this um, than Gwendolyn does, obviously. And it's fun to kind of look at the play from that, that angle. I have parts of the play that scare me um, because I think they uh, require a lot of you as an actor to really serve them uh, so that the audience can um, really receive what it is that Stoppard's trying to do. I think a lot of the stuff um, that is connected with his kind of musical jokes is tricky. The, the tea scene, the equivalent of Oscar Wilde's tea scene between Cecily and Gwendolyn is going to be a lot of fun but really hard until we get it uh, and then hopefully once we get it it will still be difficult and require a lot of concentration but will be enjoyable to do. Um, and I get to do a strip tease to uh, <laughs> words about um, the Russian Revolution and modern art, um, which is, I think, going to be a lot of fun once we figure out what it is. So those two things both excite me and terrify me a little bit. So we'll find out how that turns out. I think you should come and see for yourself, uh, hear for yourself, experience for yourself the crazy, wonderful kind of mosaic that this play is. I feel like it's like one of those um, things you used to get in the cereal box with the lines on it and you put the red transparency over top and suddenly the picture appears. It's a bit like that. So you just have to trust us to provide the transparency and that all will be clear in the end. Thank you.